Well, it is certainly a scene that, uh, yeah, we, 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 we only see something like this when you, you don't think of it as being in the United States at all when you look at something like right this. Right now they're, they're looting the businesses and we're wondering how long it's going to take for them to get into the residential area. And I mean, that's, a, that's a possibility. This is just a drive-through. Drive-through, get what you want, drive out. Drive-through, get what you want. See if we can see people okay, driving let's, up. Let's take a look. Let me look over. Uh, I am trying to see whether or not I can see some people running down the street on the other side. I suppose that this is probably attracting more people. I mean, once you get uh, people started running in one direction, more and more come. Uh, of course, uh, uh, now they've started a fire inside or a fire extinguisher. Yeah, it looks like a fire extinguisher. For Williams University President Donald Farish. Don, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, Ted. You're right there on Mount Hope Bay uh, in Bristol. Was uh, did the college feel the impact of? Well, no more, I think, than most places. Uh, we were fortunate in that regard. Very little damage. We did, of course, lose power, um, but we were hardly alone in that. And we're back up and running in full operation this morning. This morning, and we're uh, taping this on a Wednesday, I should say. So, uh, And as many have said already, this, this makes us frightened uh, in the future what message it sends to the police departments all around the country. Let's listen in for just a minute to what's being said by the helicopter reporter. In uh, some violence, some rock throwing at cars. There were a couple of motorists dragged from their cars and beaten, and there was one radio reporter right there on the ground who was dragged from a phone booth and was beaten and was hospitalized with a broken thumb and other injuries. His tape recorder was stolen from him as well. Can you tell us what you've seen? Complete anarchy, complete chaos. I mean, it, it looks like Beirut. I mean, you wouldn't believe what I'm seeing out here. Worth uh, underlining that uh, when you see this covered by television, and you see the cameras focusing in on specific areas where there is unrest and where there's fire, you get the impression that this is widespread completely across town, and it is not, it is localized.